Senate Bill 1718, which some have called an anti-immigration bill was signed into law in May of 2023 and went into effect on July 1, 2023. Since that time, some of the provisions of the bill have created concern for both immigrants who work in Florida and some of the professionals who serve them. This article will discuss the concerns expressed by doctors because of the new hospital reporting requirements due to the bill. The hospital requirements now required and an example of the fear and lack of medical treatment it can cause. The new bill requires that hospitals accepting Medicaid will now be required to ask patients about their immigration status. Respondents can decline to answer if they wish as a result of this new requirement. Some immigrants are now afraid to seek treatment when they are sick or injured. Ophelia Aguilar is a farm worker and the mother of an eight-year-old son who is an American citizen but Ophelia herself is not when Ophelia fell off a truck and was bed bound for two weeks. She didn't seek medical treatment for fear of having to reveal her immigration status and then, being separated from her son, she explained to CBS News, I'm not going to leave my son behind if I leave. My son is coming with me. Some healthcare providers specializing in maternity matters say that they're seeing some mothers too be not receiving important care or delivery assistance due to fear. Midwife Jenny Joseph told Mother Jones, the fear is the biggest factor from the patient's perspective. The message people hear is that they will be in jeopardy if they present in the hospital. Specifics about the SB 1718 and hospital requirements. It is important to understand that the bill only applies to hospitals that accept Medicaid and it doesn't apply to doctors' offices and healthcare centers that have their own practices even if they are renting space in a hospital, what have some doctors said about SB 1718. In anticipation of the bill, 80 healthcare providers wrote a letter indicating that the bill could threaten immigrant access to health care and would undermine public health the letter states in part deterring any segment of our population from seeking health care is not only dangerous and life-threatening for individuals but negatively impacts public health and undermines our efforts to improve the health of all this bill is a direct attack on our most vulnerable communities every floridian deserves to have access to health care without fear and to be treated with dignity and respect as health care providers. We take an oath to practice medicine with integrity, honesty, and compassion and to treat people irrespective of their immigration status with this in mind. We oppose SB 1718. Opposing Opinions While some express concern about all people in Florida having access to health care, Others believe that the bill is necessary and shouldn't limit medical care Republican State Senator. Ana Maria Rodriguez has said, It's important to address that Florida is not a sanctuary state, and we believe in legal migration of hospitalization. Senator Rodriguez has said that undocumented immigrants shouldn't fear deportation. Just because of going to a hospital, that is not going to happen 